Hey y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea. Okay, <laughs> okay. If you like what you see, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Okay, do not be afraid to go ahead, hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the T team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages. Okay, if you would like a personal reading from me, please go ahead, hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. All readings are $44.44 and do have a two to three day turnaround at this particular time. Y'all, I got a lot of readings coming in now. Y'all know y'all talking about this summer love. Okay, and I got a lot of readings coming in now. So it could be two to three days. I'm just letting you know. Okay. If you would like to donate to this channel, y'all please go ahead, uh, DF Tarot Tea at Cash App or PayPal.com, okay? Help your girl get a little cheese. I keep telling y'all, I love me a good piece of cheese. Now, y'all think I'm playing, okay? A little Swiss. I eat, listen, I even like liver cheese. Now, y'all know, y'all know, some of y'all might have not had them southern grandparents, okay? But I grew up with that. Y'all know that liver cheese, they have the white piece around there? Mmm! I like liver cheese. All right, like this video, like this video, like this video. Let's go ahead and jump into it, y'all. Um, the reading that I did before this, we're coming up with the Empress for manifestation on the bottom of the deck before we even get started. Um, uh, just as I started this video, I actually um just did a reading which will be out later on today. Okay, I'm gonna go and drop that heat later on today. You feel me? Um, that does discuss how winter plays. A particular role in a particular love relationship so i just kind of want to look a little bit more into that at this particular time why did winter come up on my board in regards to a love relationship a romance that did have infinite energy okay and i was pointed to the fact that that relationship would coincide with the directions of the north and i say why spirit so we're gonna go ahead and look in that four of wands energy comes up on the bottom of the deck um, why was that forever relationship? This was a very, this relationship had uh, a lot of infinite energy. And it was associated with the North. Two of Pentacles on the uh, bottom of the deck. Okay, showing us that there may be up to two reasons for this. Why? High Priestess energy, okay. And the Ace of Cups. So this tells me right out the gate this relationship that have this northern energy around it okay so when we see this northern energy come up around a love relationship we're seeing a relationship where there's an overflow of love in the astral realm so we're seeing that that's interesting okay that speaks to me because the north is what's up top again i'm doing this as more of a build okay i get these revelations and i these are like my own personal tarot study but i'm doing it on camera instead so y'all can join me that makes sense to me okay because that makes sense because the north is what is up top. So we're seeing that there is a lot of love in the astral realm. First and foremost, for a relationship to be in its forever energy, we see that there needs to be a lot of love, first and foremost, in the astral realm. Okay, that's where it starts. It can't just be, I love you down here, baby. You got to love me up there too. Amen. Okay, you got to love me all over. Okay, Church bells ring when the judgment card comes through the building. You already know, okay? Like this video, like this video, like this video. Spirit, clarify for us the judgment card energy as we investigate the north. Knight of Cups, okay? Again, we also would need a feminine energy that was willing to receive love. And we also would need a masculine energy that is willing to bring love to the table. He has made that decision to bring love. So see, now we see here, now we see there are some certain things that would need to occur in the physical realm first. I'm sorry, the astral realm first before these things could even rain down. I'm hearing rain by SWV, y'all. Could even rain down into the physical space, okay? Okay, there are some things that would need to happen first and foremost in order for that to happen in the physical space. Um, that's really dope, okay? Because we see here this judgment card, again, takes us into the astral. Um, a masculine would also be willing, have to be willing to come out of the astral. So this can be a masculine that's like in his head. You know how it is. We sit in our heads and think about what we want to do. He has to make the decision to move forward. We also see that it does have to be the masculine and the energy that makes the decision to move forward. Okay. To come out of that space and make an offering. Okay. 
Five of Wands energy with the Ace of Wands energy, okay? So these things would have to come down from the north and kind of fight their way into the astral realm. We, are, I'm sorry, the physical realm. We also see that there is a certain process, okay? And I'm going to say alchemically, I would imagine this has something to do with fire, okay? For something to be refined and then manifest itself with a new beginning in the physical realm. Now, I say this to say, I don't mean no harm, because you know y'all will be y'all will be cutting up on me later. But listen, it's got to be said. Just because it's in your head, that don't make it so. And I I've had female friends in my life. I'm sure we all have um, male friends. You know, people, humans. Okay, um, they get something in their head about a person, and they're just waiting for it to happen. And we're seeing here now, there are things that have to occur in the astral, in the heavenlies, up above. There also needs to be consent from spirit. Judgment has to be given so that something can properly walk itself into the earth realm and manifest itself into your life. You can't just say, I keep having a dream and say that that's not, that's not going to work. Okay, um, it has to be given into, it has to be birthed into the earth. It has to come in. It has to be manifested in with certain passions. I'm also hearing that passions could have a lot of, to do with words. So some of y'all don't speak against the man you love. You might be doing it a lot because um, he doing his thing and it's on your nerve. Do not speak against the man that you love because what you do is you create passions. You create a combustible environment for things to begin in the earth realm because you talking, you talking all like this with your Don't do that. Okay. It creates a fertile environment for the foolishness. Secrecy is of the utmost importance. If you're going to get into not only getting something to begin, okay, and manifest, but getting it to stick, getting it to, to represent a divine commitment, getting it to be something that's going to be, and it's just going to be something that is not going to shift, something that's going to be lasting. So, and then we're looking at it from the top, y'all, because this is something that starts up top. We said north energy, okay? We're looking at it from the north. I told y'all in that reading now, I got, I, got, I got directed towards northern energy. So we see that coming through here, okay? We see that coming through here. And we see that it has to start at the top and manifest itself into the earth realm to begin in order for it to be solid. Look at that and go into a ten of pentacles. This is something that we are looking at that truly is about being solid. So I ain't talking about no, no karmic nonsense. I'm not talking about something that's like, yeah, we made it six months. I'm not talking about something that ended in, you know, maybe we have a child, but we don't fool with each other. I'm talking about the recipe that is needed for something to really manifest itself in the earth realm and be solid. I'm talking about something that is, it has eternal energy. The reason I say that is because of the reading that we're going to drop a little later today, but it has eternal, it was a relationship that had long-term eternal energy. Okay. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Without these things, you could be manifesting something that is not going to last because it is not built properly. It starts from the bottom up. We ain't talking about that. We're talking about something that starts from the top down. We need it to happen in the astral. First, it needs to be granted astral. It, it needs to be granted permission from spirit. It can't just be, you know, you just down here in some carnal foolishness now. Okay, I'm just telling you what, I'm, what we're talking about. The lovers, the lovers, okay? Now, we know with lovers, we're really talking about, and this is what I'm hearing right now, obviously, the lovers are the lovers in the physical sense of the word, but also what we are discussing here is alchemy, okay? So, bringing something together, Ten of Pentacles, bringing together two different elements, two different people, okay? Two different elements, and then we see death and hard work, okay? So, no. That when you are given a Ten of Pentacles, I want y'all to hear this now. The Spirit's talking. When you have been blessed with a Ten of Pentacles that's coming from the astral, and you and this person get together to alchemize things, each of y'all do die spiritually. You're not you and him. Y'all are y'all. Y'all have to become one unit, and that's going to take a lot of work. It's not easy. Sometimes people think when you've been given something divine, and this come from the above, and it's got some eternal energy to it, you're thinking, well, we don't have to work. But what this, this reading is telling us is, who said that? 
You will still have to work. Spirit will still expect you to do the work. Spirit will still expect you. You guys are going to have to do the work together as souls. Okay. You're going to have to do that work. Uh, for some of y'all also, you're going to have to understand that this masculine, so much manifestation happens through the masculine because the masculine is the one that's going to take the action. So some of y'all are going to have to really let a lot of the steps as far as where the relationship goes. When, even when you've been given it, it's him that's going to bring it out of the astral and bring it into reality. And it's also him that is going to maintain it in the physical realm. This is what we see. And now let me tell you this, okay? This is why, oh, I don't, I might, I might strike a chord or a feather or two with this one, but let me tell you something. We just saw that a lot of these relationships, they have to begin in the astral and we see the masculine is the one that walks it out of the astral by making an offering or making himself known to the feminine and kind of fighting his way into a new beginning. And, and this starts a situation that. Now we can get to a ten of pentacles because the male takes the action. Things get alchemized and we see him maintaining it, the masculine energy maintaining it. And I'm going to tell you something. A lot of you women, okay, you may say you're in an astral relationship or an astral hookup and that's all it is. Like, why is it not manifesting in the physical? I need you to understand it's because the masculine is not invested or involved or interested in bringing it out of the astral. He knows it's there. He knows the feelings are there. He knows what you may feel for him. He is aware of it in the astral and he has not made a decision to bring it out of the astral. Okay. Anytime somebody is saying, why won't it materialize? Does he feel what I feel? It is up to him to bring it out of the astral through his actions. And if a man is not bringing something out of the astral with his actions, then it cannot manifest. Because we see with the magician, I'm going to take y'all through the tarot now. I'm going to take you on a journey with the tarot. We see the magician takes action. And where does he go? To the high priestess. So he gives this to the high priestess. That's card number one and it's card number two. Okay. First, it starts in womb energy, right? Which is the fool. This is the beginning, the beginning of the journey. It's card number one, the magician. Take the masculine, take an action. Number two is the feminine. She's not first, she's second in this. Is that feminine principle of the high priestess. Number three is the empress who manifests it and then gives it to the emperor who can carry it off in the physical. Now, all I'm trying to get you to see it can't manifest without the masculine. So anytime something just in the astral, which is the high priestess, that's just the feminine energy all by itself. If it's in the astral and it ain't coming out, he don't want it to. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I should Maybe I should have said it's quieter. If he not. No, I'm not going to spare nobody. If it's astral, it's, there's no, that means it's only one of y'all in it. He has to do something about that. There has to be a masculine and a feminine principle. They go to high priestess looking you right in the face. There has to be a masculine and a feminine principle in order for anything to manifest. There has to be, you know, even in the physical realm, it's a man and a woman and then there's a birth. Don't nothing change because you're in the astral. If it's not manifesting, it's because only one of y'all is present. There's no other way for that to happen. This is how men, we see masculines, they, they stalking a woman now. Because they're in the physical. They take an action in the physical. They, they doing a magician thing. They take an action. She not on that with him. So now he just take an action by himself. Nothing is, is, nothing is going to be, is going to manifest. He just going to catch a stalker charge. This all is facts. Nothing's going to manifest. Because both the masculine and the feminine have to be present in it for the relationship to manifest and then carry out down into the physical. Now, I'm just telling you, this is what happened. If it's just in the astral, that's because no man is interested. You're stalking him in the astral because he's not willing to bring it into the physical. If this man is stalking you in the physical, physical because the, 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 the mental plane is feminine, okay? A great deal of that is feminine energy, the astral and all of that. So that's where we at. 
And the men are in the physical. They, they're more of a physical realm, taking action, taking control, et cetera, et cetera. You have, hey, you stalking him in the astral. You need him to bring it into the physical and make it go. And if he in the physical making it go, and you ain't in the physical with him, that's called stalking. It's stalking either way, okay? Y'all, if it ain't manifesting, one of y'all ain't invested. That's all there is to it. It's not even no other way for that to go. And that's just what that I'm just telling y'all. That's speaking energetically. Because everything, all of this relationship stuff, it starts off in an energetic way. It starts off energetically. It, it don't... What's happening in the earth realm? What's happening in the earth realm is a reflection of what's happening up top. Okay? And that is why... Okay, see, I didn't answer my own question. That is why this is happening. This The, the North energy was associated with an eternal relationship because it starts up top. If the relationship is not properly yoked in the, in the spirit realm, in the heavenlies, everything that falls down from there is going to be off or whack. Somebody wants somebody else more than the other. Somebody stalking somebody. It starts and it starts. And if, if the north, if the up top is straight, then you're looking at an infinite situation. They go to the Empress on the bottom of the deck. That's what needs to happen in order for something to manifest. Okay. Again, y'all just doing tarot study time with me. I usually do this stuff by myself. I said I was going to start putting more of it online. Okay. It starts up top in order for it to get into this space. Four of wands and four of swords. Okay. It has to start. As above, so below is basically what we're saying here. Okay? Make it simple. Four of Wands, Four of Swords, Knight of Swords. Okay? And again, we see the masculine. Okay? Running towards the Four of Swords. So he's creating activity here. That's what happens for Four of Wands to happen in the spirit, in the physical realm. We Once again, we need the masculine to stir the energy. Okay? He is the keeper of the energy of the action. Okay. If he does not do that, if a masculine does not do that, there will be no celebration. There will be nothing that will occur. There will be no um, manifestation of the eternal relationship. Okay. It starts with the masculine principle, taking the action. This is the truth. Okay. He has to take action and give the offering to the queen. Okay. In order for the seeds to be planted and for things to begin manifestation or else, it ain't going nowhere, child. Five of Cups. And that's on period, okay? That's that's it. That's all. That's all she wrote. <sighs> yeah. Mm. So, this is why that eternal flame that I saw in that last reading that will be out later today pointed us to the north, okay? Because what we're talking about is as above, so below, the connection has to start as above and without the masculine principle being willing to take action, something is not going to even come out of the astral. And without the feminine principle being interested in the physical, something is not going to manifest in the physical either. It has to be both. OK, and that is necessary. And that occurs when we see something that starts in the north. It was it was both people are sincerely in love and spirit has decided to manifest this, which starts with the masculine energy manifesting it through his words and his actions into the physical realm, okay? Ultimately, which he will have control of how that energy goes or where it goes, okay? And I think this is interesting because everybody is going to say, you know, men supposed to lead, men supposed to lead. But see what, you, what we just saw right here is that that principle is much deeper than men telling women what to do, which a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of people seem to have really reduced it down to something that petty. It is a lot deeper than that. It has a lot more undertones, overtones than that. And it should be taken a lot more seriously than that. Um, however, you know, people don't study their spirituality. People don't study any of these, you know, alchemical and metaphysical laws. And a lot of things are being taken literally in the universe that should not be taken literally in the universe at all. Okay. This is a very spiritual principle that has more to do with, with a masculine speaking the right words and his actions lining up with his words in order to govern a ten of pentacles. Energy from a spiritual standpoint. We're talking about the divine masculine here. Okay. If you have enjoyed this divine feminine tarot tea, 
please go ahead and like this video like this video like this video go ahead hit that bell okay share and subscribe okay so you can go on here and keep doing these tarot bills like we doing if you would like a personal reading from me, don't be afraid to hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. Also, if you would like to donate to this station, girl, help me get a little piece of cheese, a little liver cheese, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? dftarot at gmail.com. At dftarot at cash app or at paypal.com, okay? Um, and if you got a little tea, dft box at gmail.com, okay? And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.